Welcome. Hey, Bohemius. All right, we're going to stop uh, playing Guns N' Roses to avoid uh, copyright uh, strikes, but we'll put on some music here. So we've got Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for our background. And today is the day, your request fans, for the big reveal of Jungles of Delthrak, the new expansion, the second brand new expansion from Avalon Hill, <clears throat> being shown today, now, as we speak, at the UK Gaming Expo, which I'm not at. I'm just uh, reporting what other people are reporting. Several people in the chat have posted information. I've been posting it on my YouTube here, and uh, perfect time to discuss it as more information rolls in. So... I should let the other guys know that they can hop in if they want. Credit where credit is due, we've got lots of people to thank here. Uh, Axion, Dungeon Master, Cristobal, LaGuardia de Morikar, Elethorn Elf, Tepi1992, Elviler, Jeff Witty Art, um, somebody from Facebook, I'm not going to say his name. Uh, Geek on Giddy, several people have posted stuff here. We've got all kinds of uh, reveals going on. So I've got some bigger pictures here that people have sent. So we see the box art, we see the quest book, some kind of little red tag on it. I'm not sure what that is. Resolution isn't good enough to see it yet. Lots of cards. I see alchemy cards. I see dinosaurs. <laughs> um... So now this is the sort of thing that if we'd seen it a few months ago, someone was bound to say, this is a fake. This is not real. This couldn't possibly be real. This is just a big prank, a big joke. But we've learned <laughs> that uh, we should be a little bit more trusting. I think the only thing that I'm seeing immediately that doesn't jibe with what we saw before was the, uh, the dice. I don't see any dice here. Bohemius, I can't hear you if you're speaking. This is a Spanish translation? I'm not speaking. Oh, okay. How's it, <laughs> how's it going? He's speechless, folks. Okay, in the dense jungle that borders the mountains of the end of the world, an ancient civilization of dwarves is settled. A sacred artifact much appreciated by the dwarf refugees of the Keller Tower has, has been stolen. I wonder if that's Keller's Keep. And a plague of terror invades the lands. Crystalline outbreaks have appeared in the jungle fauna, and the creatures are out of themselves. <laughs> Enter the dangerous jungle to stop the curse that has fallen on the region. Defeat evil, make daring decisions, and continue way to various endings. Thanks to the new game mechanics that allow you to choose your own adventures. Are they really going to say choose your own adventures on the box? I suppose it's become a generic thing like Kleenex or Xerox. Because that's a very specific type of game book. Discover the dark secrets hidden in the thicket before everything is lost. So that's the translation. And we had that text scene subject to availability. Requires game system subject to availability. So wherever the game system is available, you'll be able to play this. Some type of, um, oh yeah, here's the miniatures. So we've got a giant spider, one giant spider that takes up two, two squares. I was expecting a, a lot of little spiders, but there we go. Yeah, they look like uh, the three main bosses of the adventure. The snake, the oh, spider, yeah. and the gorilla. Yeah. It's exactly good. like in the cover. Yeah. So similar to against the Ogre Horde, where you've got the, the three big monsters, and then lots of smaller monsters in a variety of colors. Yeah, but cho choose your own uh, adventure. Maybe. Also choose your own boss, probably. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we went north. Now we gotta fight the spider. We went south. We gotta fight the gorilla. We went east. Yeah. 
there's just a crystal that we can just knock over. Well, that's easy. <laughs> or who knows? <laughs> um, the crystals invading and destroying stuff makes me think of uh, Godzilla Unleashed, if anybody remembers that game. It was on uh, Xbox and um, PlayStation 2, and uh, I think on the Wii as well. But yeah, there were Space Godzilla was making crystals appear, or aliens were attacking the Earth, and you had to destroy it. But there's only one crystal, so maybe it's just, that's it. Evil power comes out of it. And then we've got some type of goblin, goblin-ness with, uh, people were speculating already that it, she looks kind of like the warlock with the big hand and the crystal in the other hand. Yeah, he's uh, on different plastic, so yeah. I, uh, my speculation could be like a, a mercenary caster. Hmm. That could be interesting. I was going to say, have we gotten a, a magical mercenary yet, officially, in the remake series? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. No. Let's see, we've got... It's similar to how um, Rise of the Dread Moon imported pieces from Age of the Mirror, we've got two out of the three skeleton archers from against the Ogre Horde, one each of the ranged goblins uh, from there as well. We've got four cultists. Instead of in gray, they're in green. So I guess these dread cultists are everywhere, just like Rise of the Dread Moon. We've got green dinosaurs, and then we've got a red dinosaur, so I'm taking it that's the ally. <laughs> Although maybe someone would say there's a spell that turns you into dinosaur form, and this is what that is for. <laughs> but what's this angry teddy bear, or what creature? I have no idea what this is. Some furry I don't know. animal it, rearing. At uh, first glance, uh, I thought it was uh, like a wolverine, but, but this doesn't look like this. <laughs> Any it's Australians out there? Is this is this the fable drop, drop bear? <laughs> Those minion devil. <laughs> yeah, it's Taz. He's Taz. He's Taz, Taz from Warner Brothers. Yep. And yep. he's going to spin crossover. and destroy everything. See, that's the crossover we've been. <laughs> this is speculation, folks. It's a it's a wild, angry uh, creature of some kind, evil teddy bear. And we've got this flame. Is this Zargon's flame? I wonder. It's yellow. Is a Mountain Dew tie-in that's happening? Uh, it is bound to the story, the flame. Yeah, some type of background piece. Mm -hmm. And are, the, are these the creatures from the village? Can't quite tell. They look like they're made out of vines or tree bark. Or Are these ants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look like trees, but I don't know. The, the, uh, the photo is not defined yeah. very well. It looks like they have a, a crystal in top of their heads. Oh. It's, it's so weird. Something it's to paint. Like they are mind controlled by the... Uh, maybe be the gorilla got the power of control them? Oh, Who knows? Maybe. Yeah, so this King Kong or, here... Or he's... the gorilla is under control itself because he got yeah. the crystals too. See, how, how funny would it be if actually he was a good guy? He just he comes in and he's like, oh, you know, and he just like pounds on the crystal and he makes little things for you. He's the that shopkeeper. Like Rod. Yep, we finally get to meet the shopkeeper. It's like, oh, how come we never, uh, how come we never tried to haggle with him for the prices? Well, now you know. <laughs> Where does an eight hound? Uh, how much? How much does the uh, eight hundred pound gorilla sell you the short sword for? Whatever, whatever price he wants. <laughs> His real uh, dream in life is to bake cookies. Yes. But he's forced to be evil. Yep. <laughs> in this these, these evil times, he's uh, he has to set aside the cookies and uh, crush crush the heroes. So we got our two berserkers. They look like barbarians to me. Um, and then these two explorers. Yeah, yeah. Look like now explorers. we got the confirmation there. Yeah. Look at the, the pose and everything. The, the clothes is exactly mm -hmm. the same miniature as the fake cover. Ah, with the hand outstretched. Uh, the female. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, the, other, the other one. The, see the female. The female oh, the on top. The... Okay, you can see the leg is exactly the same. 
So they were tricking us, but they weren't tricking us. Yeah. Oh, man. So somebody needs to Photoshop that cover and put that red piece in uh, to match. I was not expecting dinosaurs, that's for sure. So we've got green and red, so enemies and allies. And then these rock pools could be tunnels, could be pits, could be... Oh, they could be graves, too, I suppose. I was going to say, like, fire rings, campfires. So, they're so weird. They look like... Um, Footprints of Godzilla. In, I don't know, tunnels? Imagine a spawn point for monster. So mm, the monster generator. Maybe the crystal mm, pops up. Yeah. I mean, it's big enough that it looks like you could maybe set one of these figures on top or two, maybe. Could be a wall of stone protection. Yeah. Yeah. Without context, it's hard to say what these things are. I mean, other than scary equals monster, <laughs> color equals ally. We got. Yeah. Else but in the chat. this is the first time they, uh, ah. they mix the colors. I don't understand why they did the uh, cultist green. Uh, it's weird. That green magic. Okay. <laughs> I had to turn off <laughs> the druid. Are they druids? They're not actually cultists. Uh, maybe. Same. maybe. I don't know. Okay. For some reason, I can't see your name there. New chatter. Uh, welcome. So we've got Bohemius and we've got S. Oh, Squidge Monster. Our old friend Squidge Monster. I was going to say, I, like, I, I've seen that avatar before. So welcome. So this is the guy that did um, H-Quest Builder. Welcome to the chat. So we're talking about Jungles of Deltrak and the uh, reveals that are happening right now. And I haven't checked in a couple of minutes to see if there's anything new. Okay, so there's a better image of the gorilla. Yeah, feel free to chime in. I mean, this is not just me talking. Um, now, we are recording this. This will be posted later on YouTube for HeroQuest fans, XSC3 home of HeroQuest fans. But, you know, if you... Want me to edit something out? You just let me know. Like if you said something silly, but don't feel bashful if you want to contribute. Anybody else wants to join in? Come on in. The water's fine, <laughs> as they say. So we get four cultists, two green dinosaurs. Oh, so just like in the other picture, those were accurate counts. Yeah, there's a wide variety of figures. Even though some of them are repeated from other boxes, I think this is still pretty cool. Interesting color scheme. Oh, yes. So we can have more goblin archers, yeah. uh, skeleton archers. I wish I knew what that little red tag said, and I wish I knew what these cards were. Can, I, can you zoom in on the red tag? Yeah, it's so res low res. You look like a. You look like a. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. Some, it's too, too blurry. Too some blurry. Conspiracy theory is going to be this is note warning. This is the final Hero Quest release. <laughs> no more Hero Quest after this. Okay, I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> it's in a, such a doomsday year. <laughs> yes, starting those nasty rumors. Yeah. No, I just want to put that to rest. I do not believe Hero Quest is dead. It'll die the day they stop making it. Well, no, it won't, <laughs> because we the fans continue it on. But the continued development, let's say. See, I have no problem if they stopped making new content, but just continue to support the old. You can still buy it. They still promote it. Maybe they put out a little free thing every now and then. What's wrong with that? You know? I mean, sure, we would like to get new stuff, but I would say as long as it's of quality. If it's going to be mediocre shovelware, I don't want them to make it. Let, let fans create stuff. It doesn't have to be a new expansion every, you know, six months for the next, for forever. You know, so that you start, you start uh, trying to get into the hobby and there's like a million expansions. You have nowhere, no idea where to start. No, I can't afford this. 
Hero Quest is supposed to be accessible to everyone, so I think there is a limit, but we just don't know what that limit is yet. And we probably won't <laughs> for a long time. Okay, well, let's see. It's pretty hard to read that, even if you can read Spanish. But at least we have the, the translation of the little story lore there. And card-wise, assuming these card counts are accurate, so it looks like there's only three, well, four treasure cards, if you count the one that's flipped over. Four monster cards. Three dread spells. Um, I, I guess these are three ally cards. But then, oh, these must be the animal allies. Three of the animal allies. These must be the new hero cards, but there's three. So maybe this this one that's flipped over is just a duplicate for the purposes of showing and not necessarily what's actually in the box. Hard to say. Three or four artifacts. Three or four alchemy cards. That's not very many, though. If, you're, if we're doing the same crafting system as Rise of the Dread Moon, I mean, maybe it's not the same this time. But the way it worked in Rise of the Dread Moon is you find a treasure that's a reagent, and then you use it a certain place, and you get to craft one of these. But if there's only three, it's kind of like, well, that's it, unless you're combining it with Rise of the Dread Moon. I don't know, thoughts on that? Do you think it's a new system? Or? Oh, well, I, I, for sure they don't have the, uh, the deck of Alchemy here. Okay? They got uh, like a little expansion. If you want the deck, you need to. So probably it's just uh, the new way to do potions. Instead of doing it with the back, uh, with the, uh, they do it directly with the deck of uh, Alchemy so you can expand the deck or just use it as uh, an equipment. Hmm, yeah, instead of just putting on equipment cards like they were yes. doing up until last year. So yeah, you can if you got the uh, the expansion, you can uh, expand the deck. <laughs> Otherwise, you just use it. And since we can't read this, there's two sets of new card backs. Now, one of these could be well, two theories. One is one is for the explorer, one is for the berserker, or vice versa. These are the three; they each get three skills. Yeah, yeah, it looked like. As opposed to what I was thinking, that it was going to be like one generic group of abilities that you could just give to different characters. But if these are just heroes and not like uh, mercenaries or allies, then maybe that makes the most sense. That'd be the simple explanation. So like you pick one of these berserkers to be a hero, one of these explorers to be a hero with your four, and then they get the three cards, depending on which one you picked. This uh, image of the dread spell, I mean, it's so blurry, it almost looks like uh, command with the yeah, hand up in but there. But aren't they three different. or four, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's a good question, uh, yeah. If, that's if, a good question, right? Because the one that's flipped over know. is just for demonstration purposes. Exactly, show you what I don't know. Not sure. And it's so blurry, it's hard to even tell, but this is probably a CGI image and not necessarily yes. like a photo of the actual thing, which they should be showing within the next hour at uh, the UK Gaming Expo. I think... Uh, is always bored, never boring. Did he? S he didn't say he was there. He just said, "I'll find a way to report the information," <laughs> or something. So, I guess whoever is there right now will probably blow all this away and explain all this. If they're allowed to. I mean, I know some of those conventions do not allow you to live stream. Like you can't just point your phone phone in the guy's face and just like record him and upload it immediately. But nothing stops you from recording at the time. And then you take a break, you go to lunch, and then you upload it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, if you look at the uh, image behind the uh, the box, the official one, you can actually see the quantity of cards. I think this one here. Like there's two red spells. Oh. There's four because ah, this one. Yes. This one right. cannot vary from the uh, what you find inside the box. So. These are so it's, 
Are these tiles? It's different. Right there? There's uh, like five uh, artifacts. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four treasure. Four monsters. Uh, four potions. Two red spells. That makes more sense. Six yeah. abilities. for three and three. Because we expect the box to show accurate count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are these? A lot of monsters. <laughs> do you think these these are tiles over here? Yeah. Okay, we haven't a bit seen blurry, them. but yes, they're tiles. Very hard to see. Yeah, I would be shocked if there were no tiles. And I mean, we've been told that there were some. Nice. So the fake box with the questionable description seems fairly accurate so far, except for the dice. But the connection with Keller's Keep, the dwarves, it's uh, it's all it's all there. It's real, folks. It's real. So yeah, tiles and cards would be next. So that statue is the statue of Sargon. Ah, <laughs> you didn't know he was made of stone, did you? That's how he's lived so long. Uh, he's controlling everything through the statue. Yep. <laughs> we could just destroy the statue. You destroy it. He's like, you fool! If you thought my power was in the statue. Ah, ah, no. Ah. <laughs> Cut the wireless. Yep. People were trying to guess these numbers. I mean, good luck with that. I mean, it'd be funny if, yeah, you flip it over, it just says body points nine 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 nine. It's like, okay, no, no. <laughs> well, I, I, it, it's hard to speculate because they keep changing things on us, but. One thought was a two square monster means more than five body points. Of course, that did not apply to the Frozen Horror. Or did it? Let's see. Did they have six or five? <clears throat> Let me double check that. But I mean, he was a four square monster. That was just kind of out of the blue. Yeah, he had... Um, so the Frozen Horde six body points. So I guess you could say, yeah, any monster that's that big is more than five. So maybe the spider is at least five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten. <laughs> Same with the giant snake creature and the um, the ape. There are Reaper miniatures that are like in the form of animals, and they're called like. The spirit of uh, the forest, or the they're like um, I don't know nature deities or something, like um, avatars of different things. Kind of makes me wonder. If Elementals are uh, they're going for uh, she uh, 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 yes. We got she Lob, we've got King Kong. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Anaconda yeah. from the '90s movie. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I think we've we've talked quite a bit about that. Um, let's see. Do we have anybody else in chat? Squidge monster. Looks like a QR code. Okay, I missed that comment there. QR code. Oh, here. That eh, could be. Of course, it's too resolu too low resolution for us to be able to scan it. Maybe you like the companion app. So if this is the Spanish version, we're going to see the English version in the UK. So it sounds like another wide release, which I approve of, of course. I'd like to see HeroQuest released in all the countries that had it at one time whether it's a new expansion like this or a legacy expansion, which we've only got uh, Wizards of Morkar, Japanese Hero Quest, and uh, Dark Company left. Oh, and I guess the Adventure Design Kit. Uh, Dave Morris novels, Marvel Winter Special. <laughs> White Dwarf Magazine quests. All right, let's see what other people are saying. Hey, Joe. Yeah, we're just talking Jungles of Delthrak. We're looking to see if there's any more uh, reveals, any more posts of things. 
Ah, okay. See, because when I'm in streamer mode, I can't see people's names in full, so let me just change this here so I can actually see who's saying this. I want to give credit. So Chevy Guy 5196 some more pictures cards 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 still pretty hard to read you get a slightly better view so we're getting the card counts from the back of the box we've got animal companions over here we've got new heroes here dread spells monsters we're guessing these Can are the uh, there. strengths it was all the tools anyway to play a game with two heroes, one Zargon, because they got two companions, so ah, to fill it out. four yeah. heroes. Yeah, you could send these guys into the arena using uh, uh yeah. <laughs> special forces. <laughs> yep. Yeah, treasures. I'm going to take a wild guess and say the one on the left are for the explorer the dwarf looking character and the one on the right are for the berserker the barbarian looking characters and we're guessing about the alchemy system is it the same as rise of the dread moon or is it new a variant perhaps all right we're gonna hear some beeps if you've got your own discord uh, just ignore that that's us that's not you so here, Quest Italia, Grog, Grog, Grog. These guys are great. Jungles of Deltrak. Okay. Ragno. I wonder what that is. Uh, I mean, Spider. Oh, okay. I was like, Sir Ragno. Sir Spider. <laughs> That's why they changed the name. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Spider, I don't trust this guy. He must be a traitor. It's like, no. That, that's why they changed the name. Stop it. <laughs> Yep. So Serpente Gigante. I like it. Gigantic Spider. Yes. Colossal Spider. Mm hmm. All right. Creature Dalla Symbionis and Bigui. I apologize. Yeah, because uh, oh, yeah. He's, a, he's a creature. Uh, um, ambiguous. They don't know it yet. So that oh, one, I, that one is a, a guess. Okay, so it's these a are plant, some Finish. kind. He's talking about the, the one, yes, the one on the right, the white. One tree. They, are, they one say one. a root, a plant. They're, they're guesses. Root man. Root mm. beer man. <laughs> Sponsored. Yes. <laughs> Comes with a frosty mug. Excellent. Okay, so that's Chevy guy posted that. That's fan made text and even lower res picks. Yeah, yeah. We need the we need the technology of Blade Runner. To zoom and enhance. Go behind the thing to see what's there. Facebook. CSI. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go to Facebook. Sorry. Please post uh, if there's something there. I don't want to reveal people's personal information. I'm an ant. No tree, and we are not orcs. We're hobbits of the Shire. I really hope they were like um, uh, skeletal, uh, skeleton go golem, but if you zoom in, uh, they really look like roots. <laughs> roots. Yes. Oh, yeah. Roots. Yeah, I'm Groot. <laughs> I'm Groot. Yeah, crossed over Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, I was trying to get the let's get the Discord. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we can see what people are posting here, what people are saying. So, yep. So Axion is saying Facebook. Orpstone, Dreadstone. Yeah, like the crystal is the source of the power of the of the various characters, maybe. Pools of water, portals. Yeah, what are those rock circles? It could be summoning circles. It could be 
It could be the stand for the crystal and the uh, and the flame. Yeah, it could just be a stand. <laughs> and of course, as always, you use your imagination. You buy the set. You don't. You could use it for anything, not just what they say it's for. That's the beauty. Oh of yes, what I love of this game is a sandbox. Yes. You do whatever you want. Yep. Clever girl. Yeah, there's always more than one dinosaur. But you can't ride the dinosaurs. What is that? So Stephen Baker made a game earlier in his career, or he worked on a game that had dinosaurs in it. Like Dino Riders type board game, but not Dino Rider. Oh, the Macho Man Randy Savage. The poor kid crying. That was a traumatic moment for wrestling fans. It really was. I think he got scars from that, too. AI. Okay, so now we're going back. Um, just focus on the, the new things. Okay, and then, so that's the rumor mill. You get a glimpse into the HeroQuest fans' secret areas. New release spoilers. Spanish as spoken in Spain edition. Always makes me chuckle. We didn't get any rat rat people. We didn't get any abomination uh, variants. Unless, <laughs> I mean, I guess, uh, who says that an abomination is like a species of monster? Maybe it's a category of creature. You know, like green skins or something. Could be just about anything. Are these higher resolution? Sorry about the beeps, folks. This is a little clearer. Any other comments? Who's to say the, the, uh, chat the aquatic expansion is not going to be this one, but another one? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you can you can see the tile a little better. Uh, I can't still can't quite tell what it is. If it's like a cave or crystals or foliage or it's brightly colored. Pit of, pit of spider webs. Uh, You want to see the web? <laughs> and then what are the no, the little tiles there? They look like uh, like uh, some spider of... webs, but I don't know, too blurry. Yeah, this looks like a moon or a blade. This looks the like big a one there. Look like this spiral like pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Dune Sea by Skiff cast in the pit of Carcoon. Yeah, there's it looks like a flower or a crystal here. I didn't notice this bigger one, this big purple one. It could be like a mine or a treasure room or a magical yeah. room of some kind. Maybe there's a green a one here. So one, two, three tiles there, maybe. And then this looks like a pile of smaller tiles, and then boom, boom, yes. and then I don't, I can't tell if that is just background or if that's another one. So much speculation. Okay, so Blaze says Berserker, three attack, two defend, two move, seven body, two mind. Why does he have fixed movement? Two, like two squares? Two dice? I don't know. Because if it's only two squares, that is pretty darn slow. If it's two di two red okay. dice, that would make perfect sense. Two red dice, yes. yeah. If he's a hero, I mean, if he's a merc, so he's like the slowest guy in the world. But boy, is he strong. Well, even not not even that strong. Three attack, two defend. That's like a barbarian. Wait for me, guys. Seven, so he's like a dwarf. Two mind, like a barbarian. So he's like a weaker barbarian. But he does have the ability cards. Now, Doug Hopkins did say that despite so many fans clamoring for a dwarf and a barbarian that had beefed up abilities, um, he always wanted those heroes to remain in their simplicity and their classic basicness. And then these new guys would be a way to like have it both ways. So if you want a more um, crafty or <laughs> random character 
who's like a barbarian or a dwarf, you could easily do that. Two abilities are Frenzy and Retaliation. Can't see all the cards of the back of the Berserker card. Okay, Dry Canoon says two dice. Looks like Swamp Thing, the ends. Yep. Or the Man Thing from Marvel Comics. Crossover. Oh! More pictures. Okay, who, who got these? Let's see, this is Verg. Alright, so the reveal must have just happened. Just now. Excellent. They're ahead of schedule. Sorry about the beeps, folks. Okay, so we got the candy trays. Those must be where the stone uh, circles were. So kudos to whoever that is sharing that with us. He looks like he's working out. He looks like he's pumping iron. Gorilla. He's like, I can lift this. It's a little unbalanced. You sure you want to lift that directly over your head there, buddy? It's jokes on them. His skull is so thick it would just bounce right off. Wow, they're really like sickly green. Okay. So Love it. That My looks, favorite color. <laughs> that looks like the dinosaur. So eight movement squares, two attack with an asterisk next to it. Is it ranged? Are they like spitters? <laughs> two defend, three body, three body. Uh, diagonal attack, probably. Oh, maybe because of their long body. Mm. Or a tail, tail whip or something. Classic dinosaur behavior in games. Like classic beast yeah. <laughs> behavior. Beast mode. Okay. Oh, yeah. Geek Gun Giddy is sharing more images with us directly. Nice. Okay. We'll check these out. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, kudos awesome. to the people revealing the stuff at the convention. We get to actually see what's going on. So, Berserker, you see the ability of the uh, movement of to the regiment. Adventure. Starting weapon, Ord. <laughs> starts with a. I'm guessing broadsword because it's three. Explorer movement, two red dice. Starts with a hand axe. Okay, like a lot of people homebrewed the dwarf because it looks like he's got an axe in hand. Sorry, that's gonna start to annoy me. I'm gonna go back yeah, into right. stream, streamer mode. If you're hearing Discord beeps. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to update my uh, YouTube as well with all these. So yeah, it's a QR code. QR code. Well, that's cool. Who wants yeah, that? on the red strip. That poster in there. Okay, so I'm guessing this is what we're gonna be seeing at Gen Con tables like this, where we can just start playing it. And they've got adventure di design kit sheets. Woohoo! <laughs> so make your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. Guess what? You get to write your own adventure. I appreciate that. I mean, you just look at the picture and you sketch it yourself. But the, the idea is there. Motivate people. Because a lot of people, they, they just buy games. They don't necessarily mod them like we do. Um, so just kind of like showing people, hey, it's really easy. You can continue the adventure. You don't have to just buy everything. Okay, so looking at more of these cards here. So the Skeleton Archer is the same, I'm assuming. Treasure Hunter. Whenever you draw a card from the treasure deck that rewards you with gold coins, you find an additional 25 gold coins. Oh, this is more nice. This is, uh... <laughs> you, you steal from the elf. It's passive. It's passive. It's not uh, active. Yeah. You know, well, right? that's, that's a very homebrew type idea. I think I mm -hmm. even thought, well, maybe he finds more gold oh somehow <laughs> than other people do. It's always happening. Oh my search. god! It, <laughs> this one can check the treasure. Didn't like it. Check. They do the next one. The next trap. The next. Sorry. The next uh, uh, danger says once, once per, per turn, turn you draw a <laughs> card from the treasure deck. You may return that card to the bottom of the deck and draw another card. Mm, I don't like the one. Once one, per one, turn, another card. Yeah. <laughs> Once per turn. So every turn. But I mean, 
at the same time, every room still gets searchable by every hero. So this hero is doing all kinds of weird stuff on his turn. Trapsmith. Mm -hmm. Once per turn, when something onto a square, use Argon, place. You get to make a trap, maybe? <laughs> maybe like the Caltrop thing? Mm -hmm. You grab the trap and he, you throw it how, across the room at the monster. Traps me. He can uh, maybe steal traps to make his own traps. Maybe. Well, there you go. There's the flame on top of the rock. I mean, assuming that's Ooh. canonical and not just... That's the correct way to use it. <laughs> yeah. And this is the correct way to, to put disposition of the cultist. So you put him on his side and you put the barbarian over him with the axe, like... Your magic is weak. <laughs> uh, this looks like the treasure over here. The treasure like pile. A barricade of treasures. Let's yeah. See. Maybe maybe that's what it is. He can barricade the door with the furniture. <laughs> and then you search for treasure to remove it. So it looks like a girdle of... So maybe a... Uh, artifact? Fang Warden. Is that the, oh, maybe that's the name of the giant snake. Just guessing. Enrage. Okay, here we go. Oh, Bracers well, we, of the Wild. We got the ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As an action, you may lose up to two body points to immediately make an attack. Well, that sounds crappy. Add additional attack add dice equal to the number of body points you lose. Maybe use once per quest. Up I mean, two. So you can just say to you to lose uh, one or two body points and have an extra attack, extra dice. I guess if you got lots of healing and you really got to take somebody out, maybe. But yeah, it can be used only once per quest, so... See, usually with fans, they'll say, well, you lose mind points. But in the case of the Barbarian, that's really dangerous to do, because he only has got two of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a once per quest. Retaliation. The skill cannot be used unless you have five or fewer body points. See again, these okay. these are all these are all ideas that we've seen before in the community. I have no problem with them using uh, the best ones like this. Oh, there's your spiderweb tile. See that? I'm all over the place. Okay, uh, retaliation cannot be used unless you have five or fewer body points. You may use this skill when you take damage from an adjacent monster. Immediately make an attack against that monster. Maybe use once per quest. So attack back. See, it reminds yeah, me of the combat could... cards. Uh, yeah, you can attack in uh, in Zarkon's turn. Yeah, attack right back. Frenzy, or it makes me think of Space Crusade, where you go into melee and it's just like, you roll, I roll. Let's find out. But look, the ancient dwarven relic. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Very, very descriptive. Yeah, very Let's generic. See. It's it's a relic. <laughs> it's dwarven. It's ancient. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> they don't give it a name. Is um, the hammer of Hadraka? Maybe. If you want it to be, <laughs> it will unite the yeah. kingdoms, or it must be destroyed to prevent it falling into the hands of Zargon's troops. Well, there's the scan, so that was a, that was a correct um, description there by... Was it Driancoon? Somebody said that, that it's a QR code. Braces of the Wild, Something Skull, Thought, Diadem? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Riddle, Fang Warden. Is the, is the knockoff counterpart of the uh, Talisman. Talisman of the Lore. Uh, the lore. <laughs> yeah. It's like this ancient talisman. There were lots of ancient talismans, but most of them just did like silly things for you. Like, oh, it prevents peanut butter from sticking to the roof of your mouth. It uh, <laughs> makes sure your shoelaces stay tied. You know, it's like, no, this one <laughs> actually is useful in combat. Okay, so the the dwarf type character, the uh, explorer. Oh, it's the same stats for both, of course. So two attack, two defend, five body. Five mind. So yes, weaker, Start. weaker than the dwarf. Now the hand axe. Starts with the end axe. The hand axe is a throwable weapon, because if you throw it away, now you're attacking with one die. Mm -hmm. Start the game, you throw it, and done. <laughs> yeah. Now, 
the three skills are pretty different from the dwarf. So actually, I would, other than looking like a dwarf, I mean, this is like saying that the rogue and the elf are both elves. Other than the species or race or whatever you want to call it, they have nothing in common. So, yeah, the body points and mind points are totally different. Starting weapon is different. Yeah. Yeah, I really feel like this one is a pure explorer. Mm-hmm. By the abilities, he's searching for treasures. That's yep. his job. Activating rooms, triggering wandering monsters, making the other mm-hmm. heroes very, very uh, upset. Berserker, his job is to die fast as possible. Yes. <laughs> and then after he dies, the uh, explorer will take will loot his yeah. body and take take it. That's what he wants. Search for the best treasure. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. So thanks to Geek Gun Giddy, and uh, we're still slowly pouring over these pictures. Okay. Berserker skill. So there you go. I was like, by the power of Gray Skull. <laughs> oh, you get the male and female characters are raging on there oh we can see props smith from here yeah okay yeah the it's card. but a glare you want to read it go for it bohemius if your neck starts to get so right there when you move here until a uh, square addition to one or more trap traps Zaga must Oh, Zargo must alert you. Zargo does not. Does not. I don't know. <laughs> He's very blurry. Does not. So, however, however, place. place trap. Yeah, go ahead. Tie on the board. The trap are still considered concealed and not triggered. That's what they win. Oh. Okay, now is it, this is another um, ability that is uh, passive. Okay, once per turn, when you move into Every a square turn. addition to uh, one or more traps, Ma- Zargon must alert you. This may- Zargon does not, however, place traps tiles on the board. So, this one, he, he um, searches um, traps by proximity. Yeah, is this a, well, and is this a... Um, you just is, got close. Does this and tra- and Zargon action? will say, there's some traps. Yeah, does no, this... no, it doesn't use an action, but only, only once per turn. So if there's X, there's more than one trap. Okay, so th- that's good because you can open the door. There's a trap in front. Zagun will moving. tell you there's a trap. There could be monsters around and you're like, okay. No, I, I mean the, the trap that is in front of the door normally the yes. bothers a lot. Okay, yeah. he, he can detect it, this character. Because you need to be just adjacent to the trap. Yeah. So you're moving slowly. So Zagro like, would say, there's the trap. Yeah, and you just landed on it. <laughs> you <laughs> landed on it. You're moving too quick. You didn't give me a chance. Must alert. Like, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. That's where you just jumped on. Okay, right back there. When you were back there, there was a trap. There was a trap of some kind on that next square. Move back. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay to see uh, the, the dwarf, this dwarf, every single step of his uh, movement. Take see, this, there's a drop. They're, they're taking... Take this is funny because they're <laughs> taking the way some players want to play and just codifying it into a hero. It's like, why can't, what? That guy just attacked me. Can't I just, uh, can't I just attack him right back? It, you know what? I just want to use... Fine, take some of my body points. I'm going to attack him. Okay, yeah, 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 but... I, I want to keep going down this hallway. And is there a trap here? Is there a trap here? <laughs> trap here? Trap here? Oh look, I only got 15 gold. Come on, come on, give me, give, at least I should at least get another 25 gold on top of that. Come on. I'm a dwarf. I should give me. get more. Yeah. So for those whiners and complainers, <laughs> you know who you are. Now your dreams are coming true. I mean, you could always do this, but Avalon Hill is throwing you a bone uh, with these. All right, let's uh, let's see some more. Yeah, feel free to jump in if I miss something, uh, or you wanna chime in. It almost looks like uh, the predator, or like those are eye stalks. Like it's it's mixing creatures. It's a chimera. It's not just a spider. 
it's like a crab, it's like a lamprey, it's like a, it's the predator. That's what some be ugly. So oh, sorry. <laughs> it's pumping iron. I don't know. I, uh, I just opened the window a second and they start using the uh, tools. <laughs> Oh, you got. Uh... Did you hear the the noise? No, no, I didn't. It was loud. Okay. Okay. Well, loud was loud for me. I thought it was loud. Construction. Chat too. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can always edit that out if we need to. Okay, there we go. The saber fang may attack diagonally. Saber fang. Oh, the 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 teddy bear of doom, the furry, the wallaby, the the badger, the drop bear. So it can attack diagonally. Raptor. They call it the Raptor. You bred Raptors. You bred Raptors. Raptor may move before and after making an attack. Ah, so just like the advanced goblins. And after. So do you split the movement of eight, or do you just move eight and then move eight again? I guess we'll find out. Wait, does this say of the coast? Wizards of the coast? Oh, this is probably something else they've got going. This is not necessarily Hero Quest. Or <laughs> maybe they licensed something from Wizards of the Coast in here. Somebody scan that QR code and tell me if it's readable. Okay. All right. Let's see what else uh, was posted. I'm sure there's new stuff. Like every minute, like something gets posted. Okay, just more pictures of the miniatures here. Okay, you get a clearer view of the raptor. So eight movement, two attack with the before and after movement, def two defend, three body, three mind. So they're not that strong. And there's multiples of them. I mean, they move quickly. So there's your berserker again. Up close. So if you took away the cards, doesn't seem that impressive, but okay, frenzy cannot be used unless oh we already saw that, yeah. It's pretty uh, no, we didn't see frenzy yet. Oh, I thought that was the one where you had fewer it's than retaliation and Oh okay. well, probably I'm confused. My bad. Okay, so we got Frenzy, which is a rather disturbing uh, Hitchcock movie. The skill cannot be used unless you have five or fewer body points. Well, retaliation and rage. Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, because it was out of frame. Oh, so like retaliation, it's based on body points. So if you're damaged, you can't use it. Okay, let's let's go forward then. And you can see the uh, they're all mandibles around the face of these spiders. There's no eyes. Uh, unless those two things are like eyes on stalks, I guess you could paint. Oh, you're right. They are just points. I was thinking maybe they were eyeballs. They're like, it's just claws all around. Yeah, I was just referencing the art. The art, uh, yeah. have six mandibles all around the mouth. Yeah. It's not your garden variety spider. Skill cannot be used unless you have, it's either three or five. It looks like a five or fewer body points. As an action, you may make a single something attack can't read the rest it is probably a neo attack uh, attack from area yeah it looks Stop like a berserker <laughs> not a berserker fury uh uh roundhouse i was thinking the roundhouse attack yeah. from the combat cards you attack all the squares around Leave. or like the monks uh whirlwind type yes. attack Okay, well, those were some good pictures there. Definitely have to share those up.
on YouTube when we get a chance. Let's head back into the Discord. <laughs> Swamp Thing. Classic. All right, so Sledgehammer says, flat gray things look to be bases for the green flame-like things. Some great pics on the Facebook post. See stats for the Explorer. 2255 hand axe for starting weapon. Yep. Okay, so uh, Elethorn Elf also posted, ah, Joe's got some pictures. Excellent. Thank you, Joe. So we see how they all fit into the candy tray. So beige is the color for the furniture. These guys look to be off-white like an undead color. The Swamp Thing monsters. It's definitely gray for the... The uh, undead plants. Undead plants. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun little concept. It's, oh, it's a dead tree. No, it's not. It's undead. Definitely yellow for the translucent or transparent. Is bright... There's the name there. Blight Crawler. Is it possible? Blight crawl. Yeah. Blight. There crawler. you go. It's a blight, like uh, crop disease, killing plants. Yeah. Maybe you. Hey, maybe that idea of a monster generator isn't too far off. You destroy the crystal to stop these guys from spawning in. Of course, there aren't that many of them to spawn in. Oh, it's only three. But, could be. I mean, it's all speculation until we actually see it in context of the quest book which we might not see unless they do a live demo or at gen con why, why we never have a professional uh, photo <laughs> yeah. people i mean i like the gorilla <laughs> reporting but so the guy that i'm going to gen con with um that we're traveling together i mean i'm meeting up with several friends there but the one i'm traveling with he is a professional photography guy um good with computers so if anybody can get some good shots of things it'll be him but yeah other people have gotten there first that's fine as long as we can figure out the info <laughs> but yeah danger sense treasure hunter blight crawler skeleton archer of course ember is that the ember warden i don't know Okay, let's see what else we're looking at here. Again, this is HeroQuest fans Discord, people posting from other places. I love it. I love how we can just bring in all from all social media across the web, bring it in there. It's like I wanted a pack of toy dinosaurs. I only got some raptors. That's it. Where's the T-Rex? I wanted to be able to say we have a T-Rex. So we got King Kong versus Godzilla, and it was very disappointing. Actually, I like King Kong versus Godzilla better than Godzilla versus Kong. Controversial opinion, perhaps, but it's a discussion for another time. Okay, anything new here? Just more angles. Yeah, see what you mean. You know, they almost look like human teeth. I mean, they're very tall, but. Billy teeth or British teeth if you're not an American I suppose sorry to any <laughs> Britons I offended there just can't help yeah wait listen to that thanks very much ah <laughs> I knew it <laughs> welcome sir welcome careful <laughs> <laughs> hey guys how's it going all right, Glasgow is here. So, uh, are, are there any uh, any stereotypes about Americans that? Well, maybe you shouldn't say it. <laughs> I know the. Uh, yeah, I think I think I think they tend to be quite fat, don't they? Yeah, yeah, big boned. We <laughs> definitely have some. Uh, we're known for our uh, girth around here, <laughs> for sure. Now, why the Wizards of the Coast? I wonder. What is that all about? Is that just they're talking about talisman or not talisman? What am I saying? That's Games Workshop. Wait, wait, it could be just a flyer. Is it like the hey, uh, Wizards of the Coast the guys? <laughs> we'll use the Wizards yeah, of the Coast weird. as the placemat to put everything on top of. Wizards of the Coast, known of course for Dungeons and Dragons. 
So, yeah, so we've got uh, Squidge Monster in here. We've got uh, Glasgow Gargoyle. We've got Bohemius. We've got Joe. Any of the rest of you want to chime in on any of this? I've been talking a lot. I'm not saying I have the answers. I mean, I'm looking at the same things you are. Oh, there's Frenzy. Did you see Glasgow? They made the, uh, the Shambling Monster you like. Yeah, that's that's really cool. That's a really cool addition, I think. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've not long I've not long logged in. I was wondering if we've seen anything in the way of uh, alchemy deck or uh, new equipment cards or anything like that. They've kept they don't show yet. Oh, Channel Dread is back. Well, I guess it would have to be. Oh well, yeah, because the, the cultists. cultists. So the cultists are the same, I guess, as before. Yeah. Yeah, they did like three cards, a little expansion to the existing deck. Yeah, let's. Uh, so people are posting images from all over the place. So the Blight Crawler is what this thing is called, and this is called a Saber Fang. Or no, the Saber Fang is the the Teddy Bear of Doom. The, these are just called Raptors. We've got our goblins. I'm not. Sh we haven't seen anything about this magical goblin yet. Yeah. Stone pool or it's rock wall, whatever it is. It looks like you put the flame on top of it. But there's only one flame, so maybe the other one's the crystal. So we've got a berserker. And we've got an explorer. Are these two characters? Heroes. Uh, this was some, the something warden. And then this, the spider is called something... We don't quite have all the names quite figured out yet, but I'm sure with time we'll we'll see them. Berserker skills. So they are called skills, not spells. So three for each hero. So you can attack a, another monster back right back after being attacked. You can sacrifice some of your body points to attack somebody. The uh, explorer gets to... Um, get next to traps and have them revealed that way <laughs> rather than having to search. Uh, he can get extra gold when he finds gold. Uh, the danger sense, he can swap out one of the treasure cards to get a, draw, a redraw. <laughs> and those are ones he can use once per turn. So he can do multiples. We've got a spider web tile there. Oh, there's the big, beautiful artwork. And look at this, Adventure Design Kit pads on hand in the UK. There's the candy trays and the very blurry cards. But we're getting better and better images as time goes on. So shout out to the Grog folks. There don't seem to be any room tiles in there, or am I missing something? Uh, so we've seen tiles in the background here, but they have not been really shown to us yet. So I'm guessing okay. this is one, two, three. And these, all these other ones appear to be smaller. So yeah, let's, let's forge forward, see what we can see. So frenzy, the skill cannot be used unless you have three. So it's not five, it's three or fewer body points. As an action, you may make a single sweeping attack against all monsters adjacent and diagonal to you. It may be used once per quest. So it's the roundhouse, but with a limitation. So when you're wounded, you can use it. So retaliation has a caveat as well. I think we lost our music. Let's get. Uh, I was playing Guns N' Roses at the start, but we're not going to get copyright. So oh. it looks like we saw the corner of a, a tile in the background there, just at the top left of the image. Oh, uh, which one? Oh yeah, this one here. Yeah, it's a room of some. Kind. Yeah. Yep, looks like some big room. Could it be an arena? <laughs> I mean, you've got another complement of small complement of heroes and allies, so maybe, or just it could could just be a room. Many homebrew possibilities. 
So yeah, let's continue looking through our Discord here. You would go ahead. Yeah, you you would certainly expect some sort of a overlay with some sort of half temple, half nature consumed room. Yeah, it could very well be. All right. Oh, we got the Pulse presale page. Thanks, Verg. All right, so we're trusting all these sites. Forty-four ninety-nine. So no surprise there. Okay. Twenty per customer. What a what a ripoff. Okay, September first. High resolution. Okay. We can read uh, something else, maybe, and maybe the potion. Hazard. Oh, we get some more bad cards. You find yourself drawn to a strange presence. You discover a figurine with wild, gleaming eyes. When you attempt to sell it on eBay, no one buys it. No. Where you, when you lock eyes with it, it emits a high-pitched shriek. Roll one red die for each of your mind points. If you roll a uh, six, you resist the effects, otherwise lose two body points. Your turn immediately ends. Return this card to the bottom of the treasure deck. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> but you lose body points, not mind points. Those mind points draining hazards are really bad for the barbarian okay giant ape very descriptive so we got the ancient dwarven relic we got the giant ape it's a giant ape they have a cave troll okay so seven body points yeah we were speculating the big monster more than five body points five mind points three defend four attack eight movement dread spell channel dread we've seen that already for the cultists Looks to be about the same. About the explorer. You are the explorer. Dora is the name. A tenacious adventurer with a knack for finding that which is hidden. I prefer the term expert treasure hunter. Okay, enough jokes. Sorry, you don't wear metal armor so as to nimbly avoid traps. Like the dwarf. Nice. Ah, they hate metal. Like the dwarf, you're able to disarm traps without the use of a toolkit. If you roll a black shield, you fail, and any other result, you succeed. So I was going to say, yeah, the dwarf has a major advantage, but I didn't know that. So there you go. So you could play this in place of the dwarf, or you could play it alongside the dwarf. Either way. The dwarf has more body points, fewer mind points. Different starting weapon. We've seen Frenzy now. Once per quest. Treasure Hunter... There we get to see the explorer skills. It's cool. It's like a little toolkit, even though you don't need one. Bracers of the Wild. You slip these on, and the rhythm of nature courses through you. Armor. These mag there they call it armor. These magical leather bracers grant you one additional defend die. While wearing these bracers, you move unaffected through squares containing furniture. Interesting. And hindering terrain. You may also add two squares to your movement roll. So pass through furniture. Maybe combined with the helmet and or shield. Okay, so interesting. I mean, there was always the question of can you pass through furniture? Well, maybe it's made of stone. Alchemy. Here's what we wanted to see. Unless there's some furniture here that specifically tells you that you can pass through. But uh, with a cost. Well, we're going to see. Yeah. So you climb over the bookcase, <laughs> you pass through the <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You climb over the torture rack. Si uh, spider step elixir. Something dark scuttles inside the glass. Best not to think about it. <laughs> Drink this potion to move unaffected through squares containing revealed pit traps, hindering terrain. So maybe hindering terrain is a specific category unto itself. Furniture and monsters. This potion's effects end if you suffer any amount of damage. And this one make you play the uh, the cupboard. <laughs> yeah. So now and notice notice it doesn't say anything about passing through rock. So you still have a plenty of uses for those pass through rock, cloak of shadows, etc. Um, 
but this will let you pass through monsters, furniture, terrain, and pit traps, which is kind of nice. For 100 gold, it's not bad. Wonder what the other two are. The raptor is a faithful animal ally. Ah, it's got feathers. If you want to paint him up like a modern dinosaur, according to what some paleontologists are speculating. Uh, they're bonded to one hero. And they attack the others? No. Uh, and they take their turn immediately following the turn of their allied hero. They, c they can move, attack, and defend, but cannot perform other actions or use potions. They have a unique talent for opening doors. Okay, so they have seen Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, a nice callback. <laughs> yeah, nice joke. Well, you know, 1990s uh, would have been about that time. I wonder, can they turn the lights off? I mean, how can they do that? They're animals, man. All right, so we've seen this already. Just more close-ups of the... Oh, we can get a better view of our friend, the swamp monster. The blight crawler. Yeah, it looks like an angry kitty mixed with a little bear or something. Yeah, I don't know if that thing on the top of their head is a crystal or what. I guess we could have looked at some of those other close-up uh, pictures. Yeah, in the other, in the other um, point of view of this miniature, you can see like uh, there's a ridge of crystals. Oh, of... skull. On top of their shoulders. Yep. They've got the emperor's skull there with the the cables going out. So, yeah, there's a looks like a crystal. Yep. I see. It's like Doomsday from Superman, with the bone projecting. Uh, yeah, that's the vibe. Yeah. But it yeah it does remind me of those uh, golems, the Reaper characters where it's like just a collection of trash just forms into a monster and he starts attacking. Yeah, but, but it's weird because it looks like uh, half furry, half covered in the, um, how, how they're called, uh, the Nyans, the, the, uh, the, the jungle, the jungle uh, ropes <laughs> hanging out from yeah, trees. Yeah, he's a vine. Vine, yeah. He's a, vines, yeah. He's a, he's a yeti. He look furry who, uh, in a way. He's a yeti who covered yeah, himself in glue and rolled weird. around. <laughs> accumulated. It's so things. weird. It's like of of. Uh, I like the design though. A uh, beast of plant. <laughs> it's so weird. Bolts, but neither. See here that the spider just looks like a little toy. He doesn't look like a scary monster. But in the other pictures, he definitely looks scary. Because these are the CGI renders, of course. The models in the pictures are more trustworthy okay so yeah so fake images are known to be on Avalon Hills page or Hasbro Pulse I should say okay let's we're just pouring over every piece here anybody else want to chime in I mean just go ahead just the same as we were seeing before there's only two translucent pieces and they're both yellow. I was not expecting that. Okay, I've seen that. I've seen that. Still says two to five players. I'm always looking. At Gen Con, they were saying Hero Quest 10 players. I don't know if that just meant two tables or if it meant they had expanded their game. Okay, let's. I don't think we'd seen this up close in English like this. So there's the dense jungle surrounding the mountains at World's Edge. An ancient dwarven civilization finds new roots. <laughs> and the new roots they found are these guys. Okay, uh, sacred artifact prized by the dwarven uh, refugees. Keller's Keep has been stolen and a dread affliction racks the land. Crystal and gross have developed on the fauna of the jungle. And the creatures have gone into a frenzy. Venture into the perilous jungle lands. Jungle lands. To uproot the curse that has befallen the region. Vanquish evil, make bold choices, and follow your path to unique endings through an unprecedented choose your adventure. Not choose your own adventure. 
they've avoided uh, IP infringement mechanic. Discover what vile secret looms beneath the canopy before all is lost. Okay, here you go. So let's look. Those look like little treasure piles. Or are these dropped gear? For when your character dies or turns into some other creature? Um, that one looks like the staff of the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> it does. These look like grasping vines. I'm kind of thinking of uh, Joe Manganello's A Crypt of Perpetual Darkness. Are they vine traps? What's this thing over here? Some kind of magical, glowy thing. Is this a tile as well that we can't see at all because of the angle? It's very long. And there's another tile under uh, here. It, re it really looked like, like a corridor tile. Yeah, and then double corridor tile. Two squares. I mean, they talked about hindering terrain. So maybe mm, some of these are hindering yeah. terrain. There's some. This is some. A river? What is this? Like a jellyfish? Or a. The Sarlacc pit. It looks like a giant, giant uh, flight crab Feed me. plant. Oh, yeah, with gold. Put, gold put it sideways. It looks like a flight crab yeah. plant of some kind. They use it as a wishing well, they throw their coins into it. So this is, uh, wow, that looks very dragon-esque from that angle. Um, yeah, some kind of bioluminescent or gemstones. This looks like flowers. This could be an ornate tapestry. This could be stone. Hmm. Any other thoughts from the audience? Any of that? the two by one. Oh yeah, one, two, four. It's a little hard to tell. Four I'm, four. I'm talking about the, the the one that they're like uh, khaki. Uh, that These? those one. They're very small, two by one. Yeah. They're weird. Kind of weird, generic looking. But I mean, these could be stone, or they could be. These are just tiles that you step on. But maybe, yeah, maybe it's like yeah. sand, quicksand or something. Slows you down. Yes. I'm thinking of the ice rivers in Frozen Horror. I mean, they were just obstructions. But if you had the right tools, you could get through them more quickly or in safety. The vines you had to fight your way through. You had to, like, chop through them. Like, chopping through. They are the, they are the small pit of uh, quicksand for uh, remember the video game pitfall oh yeah good old pitfall <laughs> to, use, to use the whip go from one That's side better. to the other <laughs> yeah the resolution is high enough we can see some more detail there oh see he's just he's just trying to give you a big hug he's not attacking he's smiling see I like how they put him next to the goblin. So a lot of like little small creatures next to gigantic creatures. Yeah, that definitely has a warlock yeah. vibe to it. It's got the hand. It's got the crystal dagger. Yeah. Is that a third eye? Many people were saying, well, why would a warlock be a hero? It's much more likely to be a bad guy. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying with the Zargon vibes there. Of course, any... He's, he's Sargon. That, that's Sargon. Yep. He's got a, a dish of revenge there. Best served cold. The shrine to Zargon. So we finally have a canonical... No, we were just guessing. Presentation. Well, who knows? <laughs> well, he's always behind everything, right? So... Yep. Of course, he's going to leave a statue of himself. And oh, well, there's the equations here. Yeah. So 2 plus 5, 2... Slash twenty one fifty two. <laughs> that's uh, that's a clue. That and Carmi left that. that one. He's <laughs> he left that for us to, to figure out. Yep. Yeah, I just like the Raptors opening the doors. There's there's references to other things in here, clearly, for us to. So are the are they? Uh, is that also Raptors in green, or is that something different? Uh, the the enemy ones. Yeah, looks looks like it to me. So, what do you think? So, two monster raptors and one ally raptor. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I wonder if they are. They are. They are both meant to be raptors. Yeah. Well, and from this angle, it almost looks like they have a different pose, but it could just be because they're just flipped around. Maybe it's the same sculpt, mm. exactly. Leg forward. Hand open, hand closed. Mouth open, tail up. I really like the design of the cultists as introduced in Rise of the Dread Moon because it makes me think of the classic um, Cast Warlock from the original Hero Quest. The, the goal. Yeah, I agree. Just give him the helmet with the little uh, Chaos symbol on it. And of course, this uh, he's, you know, the, the ape, you know, he's an American. He's He's put on some extra pounds, but he's dedicated to uh, exercise, teaching kids, you know, you can do it. You can accomplish your goals. So he's a good role model, really. It's too bad he turned to evil. And we got our uh, dwarven folks, our explorers, two of these rock formations. Classic barbarian poses. This particular really loving the barbarian with the two-handed axe above his head. Yeah, he uh, he's also a big Star Wars fan. He always wanted to be a Tuscan Raider for Halloween, so uh, <laughs> it's been known to. <laughs> ah, I know some people are going to be painting some uh, pictures on that, or turning it into a mirror. So you've got an urn. You've got a treasure chest. You've got these could be crystals. They could be gold nuggets. It could be just rocks that you're clearing out. If you find the real treasure. They could have, they could have had the uh, really the uh, a new rule to walk on top of the furniture. Um, yeah, stand maybe it's going to be described in this rule set. I wonder if you uh, if you beat up the uh, the blight crawler, does he drop some of these crystals? You know, you can, you can gather those up. Who knows? <laughs> Many homebrew ideas will come from this, surely. Sold separately. Hasbro Canada. Australia. New Zealand. UK. NL, is that Netherlands? Amsterdam? CH. De La Mont. So I don't quite know all of my international designations, but if someone can figure that out, I guess uh, looks like a global release. I mean, global as, as much as HeroQuest is becoming these days, so that's good news. And it's pre-ordered, he says. Oh, Amazon has it as well. Okay. Yeah, we can uh, take a quick look and see what Amazon has. Okay, so we've got a little video. This is on Amazon.com. There's the spider. Yeah, I'm just going to grab some of these photos here. I'm sure other people are already showing these other places but it's first time I'm seeing them so I'm gonna talk about them yeah anybody want to check out amazon.com us it's got lots of pictures of the box and the miniatures
Okay. You see any more cards? Looks like that's the same cards, basically. It's another angle. Oh, it's CGI background, of course. Very realistic, though. Okay, it looks like a potion of healing for a treasure. Can't really tell what those other two things are. It's for there. Channel Dread, but what's this other one? That doesn't look like Dread Lights to me. Does that... Nope. Hmm. Maybe the cultists have a different second spell. We see all the tiles here. All the monsters. Ah, wait, wait. here we are. So there's a three. Those stone spider webs. Looks like a wooden bridge, perhaps? Or a hut? Uh, yeah. Some magical effects. Or there's our little spider tiles. Ah, so we have spider tiles as well. Some kind of skeleton of a dinosaur dropped loot. Some magical thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this a hammer? Is that a hammer? Kind of looks like a hammer. Could be the hammer of Hadrakar. Okay, this looks uh, like yeah. a merchant <laughs> has put things out. Is that a dwarf? Maybe that's one of the dwarves you have to find and rescue. Now, these, these piles of things could also be, I mean, it makes me think of the arena. You know, you pick it up, it's gear, but what would it be? You know, an equipment card draw? <laughs> I guess it could be anything. But yeah, it looks like a, a rug on top of some logs in a thicket of wildflowers. There's your Venus flytrap monster again. This looks like a treasure room some kind it almost looks like volcanic but the colors are all wrong like the, the bottom of the ocean or something it's hard to figure out exactly what it is a magical forest <laughs> something and this is oh this is the tile this isn't a design so it's a two two square version of whatever this is sandstone blocks Anything else? Oh, there's some more cards. Yeah, potion of healing. 500 gold. Potion of something. Yeah, it's hard to read. Creeping grasp. Oh man, I wish I could read that. This spell leaves something, something. Can't read it. The thing is, they don't necessarily have to have a card for each of these monster abilities. They could always describe the monster ability on in the text in the giant question. centipede. The wow. other. <laughs> I love it. Hazard giant centipede. So not just uh, something coming out of the wall. What could be your yeah, it's not readable. Trap Smith. Once per turn when you move, blah, blah, blah. Feel not triggered and rage. The, what? The Iron Heart Diadem. This relic hums with barely restrained power. This ancient circlet is inset with a fiery red gem. It raises your maximum body points by something. And grants you one additional defend die. May not be combined with the helmet. And it's not hero specific. Got three other artifacts there too. And then the flipped over card. Spawnling. 
So we got critters in tiles for uh, vermin. Yes, we do. Three movement squares, zero attack, zero defend. Spider, snake, and maybe that giant caterpillar. Centipede. Evil centipede. <laughs> centipede. Well, the mole. Uh, how how was called the the one of Hammer of Rock, uh, the uh, rock mole. The rock moles. Yeah, they like the feds. <laughs> Skull, skull blight. These are centipedes, insects. But if they can't attack and they can't defend, what's the point of them? You just get in your way, block your path. Well, I guess. So it... this this uh, this creature is called in a different way. Skull skull blight. The other one was yeah. blight something. Yeah, blight. So he's a, he's another creature. Yeah, maybe it's not the same like I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, well, this is Blighty. Oh, it's a different name. They're not just called cultists. Blight Clara there. There you go. The Blight oh. Clara is the, uh, the giant spider. Yeah, okay. So Blight Crawler. And then the cultist is something different. So he has a different spell configuration than the... Yeah. Rise of the Dreadwind one. Skeletal Archer. So I guess we shouldn't just assume, just because it's the same miniature in a different color, that it's yeah. the same. Exactly the same character. There you go. Kind of like uh, classic hero quest. You know, you had the mercenaries, the men at arms, and the dark warriors, all different, different ways. Goblin archer, but he's still got a boomerang, or she in this case. And we can't read that tiny text very well, so they have other abilities that we don't quite know about yet. It's the explorer. Dora and Dory. Berserker. So Guts, Gutsu and uh, Gutsa. <laughs> Just making this up. Interesting. Okay, little uh, little things coming to light. Is there more? Yes, there is. Yeah, from here, I, I would just say, oh, it's a, just a yeti or something like that. But then you look closely and you're like, okay, it's a weird swamp creature made of different <laughs> things cobbled together. I almost feel like there should be a brown dinosaur as well. And the brown dinosaur and the green dinosaur would fight and there'd be armies of them, like army men. These may be CGI, though. The colors may be a little bit off. We still don't know this Taz's stats yet. Okay, Definitely CGI. They're all oiled up, ready for the bodybuilding competition. Yeah, I see what you mean. There's the hand from the fake cover. Or... Here. And what the uh, the armor on the leg is exactly the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> they tried to fool us. Haha, <laughs> we got them. <laughs> Definitely tried to fool us. Well, this was still uh, this was still when uh, and Carmen was leading the group, so full of mysteries mm -hmm. and fake outs and. Uh, I, I really like the uh, the dwarves anyway. Yeah. With the backpack and everything. The, we got some new people. Like the little explorers. Yeah. Let's see if we got any other updates. Yep. Pulse, pre-sale. UK yeah. Talisman Oh yeah, Talisman News A first expansion Thanks Sikashem It's not even out yet Oh yeah, Pathfinder Quest That's not, that's Paizo That's not uh, Hasbro, but still Interesting, another board game <laughs> Okay, more of that Hero Quest Jungles of Deltrac yeah, so we're talking jungles, Deltrak. Ah, thanks, Verg. <laughs> Here we go. See, if we just wait long enough, it all happens. So we got lily pads, we got flowers. 
This is the rest area. After you've killed all these monsters, you can just chill out. Or maybe this is just, yeah, just flavor terrain. We got Stonehenge. Oh, they got the measurements accurate. It's one inch. What is this down here? It's what? like a, a campfire with the roast. <laughs> Someone's having a what barbecue the, out what here. Is that? A barbecue. Yep. Some yeah, it looked like a, a little camp abandoned. Beds, yeah. And yeah, like yeah. a fire ring has been cleared. I was thinking Stonehenge because I saw these. I was like, oh, these are the, the blocks. But yeah, I guess you're right. A picnic area. Logs. Yeah. I'm going to be <laughs> hopefully doing some of that t tomorrow. So I can't stay up super late. Got to get up early and do some hiking. All right. Well, kudos to the person at the convention showing that. Nice. Now, what else do we have? Yep, another image. That bizarre and beautiful collage of glowing leaves. Looks like jellyfish. Oh, is this underwater then? I was thinking like a magical mine, but it looks like they're sea creatures in here. Bioluminescent plants. Yeah. Of course, it's fantasy. It could be anything. This could be above ground for all we know. Yeah. But it's a very large tile. Eight. Eight by seven. So you got an eight by seven. Now you can use this in your uh, prophecy of Telor. <laughs> this, I wonder if this is a hideout or it could be something like else. A cabin of some kind, like it looks like a like a mid quest. Uh, for, hmm. Well, there's no place for to a, sleep. Yeah, you've got your, you've got witch. your yeah, witch's brew, yeah. yeah. Or stew, yeah. yeah this is the work. house of the goblin. Ah. The goblin with the goblin ah, uh, warlock. Come to my hut. <laughs> yeah. It was made of candy I on mean, the outside. It's just an NPC. Yeah. They can be used as an alternative uh, warlock. Yeah. Of course, you could put furniture in here. You could put a throne in here. Put some bookcases. Who's to say it has to stay like that? Interesting. I was looking in the background to see if there's something we missed. Cool. All right, more pictures. So yeah, we're just reacting to things as people reveal them. Skulls. Okay, Joe. <laughs> we're getting all of Joe's stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's a different design, but... Okay, so there's the little snake uh, critter. On a turn, a hero does... Oh, this is just the hero turn thing. Because, of course, they've got the game system there, too, to play. So we've got a double web. Half of, half of a full web. That looks like a person's face, but it's got like some interesting tattoos and glowing blue skin. I wonder what that is. Some kind of character that you meet. Maybe like in Rise of the Dread Moon, you get these faces of people. Skeleton of a dinosaur. Again, this looks like the Aurora Borealis, but it's on the ground. Web snake spiders and of course they've all got that wonderful linen finish that linen air we're so familiar with come to expect on the tiles well there's a new one of course somebody could just print something out and like flash it on the camera and we just automatically accept it as as part of this so a bunch of rocks is a, fo a ford yeah it looks like water I wonder if this is that terrain that slows you down. Yeah. Like you've got to cross the stream. Oh, there's the quest book, but we can't see it. It's too blurry. Secret spoilers. See, that'll be the next thing. Show us the inside of the book. Give us some examples. But since it's brand new, we can't, uh, there's nothing to compare it to other than just, you know, 
it may be a whole bunch of uh, interesting gimmicks like Rise of the Dread Moon was. Or is. <laughs> Raptor opens doors, yes. Oh, yes, there's our. Have we, have we seen any dice? No. That was the one thing. Those other pre order pages said translucent dice, but since they don't show any in the box, I'm thinking that must have been a false report. It's not true. I thought they said translucent miniatures. Well, they also said translucent and dice. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ribby want product. <laughs> Just stuff one dollars in that dog's pants. Too far? Yes. Too far, my friend. Okay, Ribby and others are posting these up. Okay, so just another angle of the same thing we've been looking at. Here's, that looks like Avalon Hill Red to me. Behold! Snake creature. That treasure chest. Another of the uh, lost Avalon Hill artifacts. That, the giant broadsword, the posters. I, I I think I know the guy in the yellow shirt. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Shout out. If you look like a friend of mine. <laughs> he missed his friend, yeah. So you had a, a man on the inside the know. whole time and you didn't tell him. <laughs> well, now I will ask. Text him. Hey. If he was there. Text, text him and be like, hey, move your phone uh, down I a see, little bit. Open the page. I see, see that you, you're taking pictures. Okay. Yeah. Give All right. me the pictures. Just, just, just flip the book. Flip the book open. Just any page. Just take a. Just take a picture. <laughs> it's like. Let yeah, me you... check fast if he's there. Okay. Yeah. It's like we see you right there. <laughs> give us, give us an exclusive. All right. Look at them with their little cameras. Look at these reporters. Look at these fans. There they are. And they always got to compare it to the game system. Uh, I'm glad to see that they're still marketing the the Slim Box, the 2022 compressed edition, Adam Glick's uh, improved design. I was worried for a little bit that they were just running out of stock and they were just going back to the old box, the big box with the annoying candy trays. But that's nice to see. I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's just that one is just a little bit better. There's the picture of the spider again. Oh, that's from the video still. Are you guys seeing that full screen? Maybe you're not. Video of the spider. I guess we've already seen it. It doesn't seem to have as much detail compared to some of the other miniatures, but you could paint it however you want it, of course. Pre-sale US and UK. Pre-order on Big Bad Toy Stores Live 2. It says Sledgehammer. Axion says web tiles, correct. Blight crawlers, giant spider white things are called skull blights. Okay. All right, we lost our music there. Let's get Carl Casey back with white bat audio. Yeah, we're not questing at the moment. We're just uh, going over all these spoilers for, well, relative spoilers. Or Jungles of Delthrak via the uh, UK Games Expo. And there's many more images to post. Okay. All right. I'm going to head back into the Discord here and see what else people have posted. Okay. Just a collage of images. So search and combat, they're saying. <laughs> Blight crawler from 40k.
a little bit clearer on some of those items. Yeah, okay, so this is what, Bohemius, you were saying here. The back of the creature. It makes me think of Doomsday from S Superman. The killer. Uh, yes. Metropolis. There you go. <laughs> Games Workshop collaboration confirmed. Nurgle is now in the house. Dragoons. Uh, comment there. It's called Blight. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the box. Very sharp. All right, I'm just trying to go through these images to see if there's anything new. We're seeing, yeah, those darn reflections. Guess I'm not going to get any work done today, says Elviler. No, Elviler, you need to update Elviler.com with all of the amazing things we're learning. I mean, we get so excited about a board game, it's not out yet. That's just that's just who we are. That's what we do. <laughs> What's really important is uh, once you get something like this, how does it play? That's I mean, you can have all this fancy stuff, but if it doesn't play well, yeah, you're gonna have people who are gonna homebrew it and make it fun, but otherwise, yeah, well, you're gonna lose a lot of sales if it isn't good, if it isn't fun. Okay, so there's more pictures. Grasping Vines from Crypt of Perpetual Darkness. Yep, I get that. So, if they're saying September 1st, so that that does make me think then that I guess we won't get to buy it at Gen Con. It would just be like a pre-order still. But if they've got boxes there, you know they're going to be people that look be like, yeah, but can I just buy this copy <laughs> that we're playing right now? I mean, in the past, we know that uh, various retailers have just just sold them early, like a month early, August, September. I mean, it's not that far-fetched. But then, let's say that is the case. Let's say at Gen Con, just speculating here, that the, they demo the stuff, and then on the last day, they just sell some of them. But that would just be a few copies versus, like, the wide release, the wide retail release from these other sites. So... I wouldn't get too excited about that unless we hear differently. Uh, and I was sad to hear that um, Amalgamash won't be at Gen Con, but I guess we'll just have to continue to support him other ways and his, his efforts. But wish him well, of course. So Spawnlings. Again, kind of hard to read. Berg says... The Jungle of Delthrak cultists appear to have different stats from Rise of the Dreadmoon. Monster icon is different, and the text appears to be shorter. Also, consider that we've not seen Dreadlights. Well, we have seen the Channel Dread spell. Yeah. So, lots of good speculation. So, check us out on HeroQuest Fans Discord. Uh, at the bottom of our screen there. I see Eudoxio and Elviler are in our Twitch chat. Um, we're not streaming live until 2 p.m. Central for Mage of the Mirror. We are, however, in Discord. Talking now. Yeah. Seeing the art of the Skull Blight. I really like it. It's a mix, really. A mix between a, an undead and a plant. Yeah. Okay. Just some reporting there. So Covert Nerd says, overall, or Lee at Covert Nerd says, overall, the J uh, JOD expansion looks amazing. Only critique is the reuse of the cultist figures from Rise of the Dread Moon. I would have preferred a new figure instead. I understand it was most likely a cost saving decision to reuse a mold from previous expansion. Well, and let's be real, who doesn't want more monsters? I mean, Keller's Keep, Return of the Witch Lord, we snapped those up immediately so that we could get just more monsters. <laughs> Rather than buying two copies of the same thing. And yeah, you get some new tiles and some new adventures. 
but at least if they've tweaked the stats a little, that is interesting. Uh, so where is the lizard man? There's no lizard man. I mean, unless it was a translation issue, like a dinosaur. I mean, it's a bipedal reptilian type of creature. Dinosaur. It's kind of a stretch. <laughs> the statue, the first sighting of Zargon, says Verg. Yeah, we wondered that too. Sir Death? Hey, Sir Death is here. Of all the things the jungles of Delthar could have included, I don't think I could have predicted multiple dinosaurs. They do look very cool, though. Here's a picture from Joe. Oh, this is just taken from, yeah, we've seen that already, but there it is, Raptor. Feathered dinosaur. So Bohemius, uh, did you hear back from your friend at all? Um, I don't know, I was searching and he, he, he didn't publish anything in the last four days, so I don't know. <laughs> he, uh, I, uh, I sent a message, but it's a long shot. You know? and I think he, he works anyway in this kind of uh, you know, games, okay? He worked, worked for Asmodee, so in Italy. So uh, it was, uh, that why, that's why I thought it was him. Who knows? It's a bad angle. I cannot see a full in the face to, <laughs> to oh, oh. front in the face to, to recognize it. All right, this is always bored, never boring. Could be somebody else. Okay, always bored, never boring. <laughs> well, thanks for checking though. Reveal of Hero Quest Jungles of Deltrak at UK Games Expo 2024. Two new hero classes. So this is always bored, never boring on YouTube. Way more popular than us. Uh, cool guy uh, with his reporting and I was gonna say look there. This is a video and She's opening it. So right here So uh, 27 seconds in a uh, zoom and enhance on that somebody with their AI skills figure out what that quest is Quest quest Looks like an alchemist shop uh, I guess that makes some sense Everything is in there, she says. And of course, I'm sure what you're all looking for. All the new figurines. There you go. Yeah. Actually, uh, ma'am, we we want to we want to know the quest book more than the figurines. <laughs> the figurines are are cool, but that's like the first thing that you see, and so you've seen it. Come on, look up at the cards. There you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm just jealous that I'm not there. That's that's all. Can't afford a trip to the UK. Sorry. Okay, so she's showing off the cards there. Are you guys seeing this video? It's Kazoon tight in the background. Looking presidential there. It's like, am I on camera? Seriously. Let's fan those cards. Yep. There is a certain talent in showing off a product. You know, you got to have your channel, your inner Vanna White. The, that's what we would always say. Or the price is right. You know, the hand model <laughs> doing this stuff. Okay, so there's the relative size. What's this over here? Okay, he's like, please, don't put. I know I've got a red shirt on, but. I don't have to be in every shot. Okay, I'm just gonna skip around. We're not trying to steal his thunder. Definitely check out, uh, rate, comment, subscribe for Always Bored, Never Boring. Yeah, it's definitely translucent yellow. It's a Mountain Dew. Icy. Looks like they come out of there pretty easily. So they're they're doing the following the trend of having the candy trays where it's actually easy to remove the figures. Giant spider. 
Snake. Okay, so the, the photos are from this. This was the reveal right here. Okay, so no commentary from him. Just... Let's see. I just got the one video. We'll give him a... Give him a like. All right, so have we exhausted all the news, or is there more? More? Do we have more to say? Hey, Ribby. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. Who do we give credit? Sikashem is posting these. So there we got Danger Sense. I know you can all read Trapsmith. Treasure Hunter. <laughs> Again, it's it's just funny to see like someone's playing style or player attitude has now been canonized in card form but thanks to Avalon Hill so they were reaching deeply into the fan community with these I feel like People are likely going to use the Dwarf and the Barbarian as the new heroes then. Well, you could have the two new ones plus the Barbarian and the Dwarf, yes, to double it up. <laughs> Much better communication on this release, says Covert Nerd. No leaks from vendors prior to the convention. Pre-orders coincide with the convention reveal too. Well, I'm not sure I would say no leaks. I feel like I'm arguing with Lee today, but... Uh, those pre-order pages had pretty comprehensive information. What they didn't have was a real cover. And the only detail that I recall being incorrect is the dice. There's no actual dice in there. We've seen. Berg says, well, I just wonder why they went the no metal route with the Explorer. If that was the case, I'm still wondering what the Berserker card says, if it has any armor restrictions. They made it to differ much possible from the Dwarf, I believe. Yeah. The thing is about fantasy lore, it can, it can be anything you want. I mean, people say, well, barbarians, they always go naked into battle. But then you've got Conan wearing armor. <laughs> so, oh, wizards, they never use swords. You got Gandalf with the sword. So... If you if you want to do your fantasy character a certain way, yeah. you can just make it up, and probably somebody else has already done it in some form. Or we way. didn't see yet the ability of the uh, uh, berserker, right? We don't know if he can wear armor yet. Oh, that's true. We haven't seen his card, the back of his card, have we? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we've seen that. It seen could be that before. the difference. Yeah. He can wear armor, but it must be covered in blood of his enemies. Then he can wear it. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> his own blood. <laughs> his own blood, yeah. He has to bleed on it first. <laughs> if he takes damage, then he can put on armor. I mean, I don't know. You can make up anything you want. Yeah, I, I can see it now. I can see the uh, this background. The Venus flytrap creature is opening its mouth. But this is huge. It almost looks like the heroes have been shrunk down to tiny size, like pixie size, and they're just like scrambling around. Is this sticky stuff, do you sink into it? So is this terrain, impassable terrain, or are you gonna like, if you stay too long, you're gonna get devoured? Could be interesting. It's a giant crap room. 
Yeah, it makes me think of uh, Frozen Horror with all of its various trap rooms, crevices and quicksand and icy yeah. areas. This just looks like, okay, you might stumble and you might twist, turn your ankle or something, but you're going to get through it. Spider webs might slow you down. Vines Love might... the creepers. You can uh, taunt of creepers ah, on the table. Oh, that's darn. Ah, <laughs> why did it have to be snakes? Yeah. <laughs> maybe you're... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that maybe the berserker he is he fears nothing except snakes. <laughs> Spiders freak him out. <laughs> no. This trap will spawn twenty snakes. No. He has to he has to stomp on each and every single one of them before he can continue on. <laughs> it's like I hate him. I hate him. Can you gather flowers? Can you gather uh, herbs to use as alchemy reagents? That would be kind of fun. If you could seems like many opportunities for homebrew if not uh yeah i don't i think you're right i don't think we've seen the berserker card not yet the back of the not board. yet not yet uh we didn't see yet the uh the goblin warlock the, all the potions maybe there's uh one of those potions is going to recover one of the ability like they said they are going to do Oh, like with the um, the mythic heroes, they all had yeah. a spell they could get back. Potion, mm -hmm. potion of recall, kind of thing. Yeah, kind of potion of recall for the for the uh, berserker because he can use these three abilities just once. I don't know. It's, uh, part of me is like I don't know how I feel about these bright colors, but. I guess putting it into perspective, uh, the original set, I mean, you had red and green and white and gray. Yeah, but <laughs> this jungle that? is really evocative for yeah. jungle expansion. I, I, Exotic I'm told plants. You, that kind of green is my favorite color, so oh. I'm happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody else doesn't like it, but... Yeah, I mean, it. It uh, the richer, more forest green or pine green of the goblins that they've been using. I know that when you look at the classic HeroQuest sets from the 90s, in each region of the world, they use different colored plastics. So you might have yes. had a, a more olive green in Ooh, Europe. Yeah, more dark. Yeah, or a, or a pine green for, like, the U.S. I'm not sure what Japan's ones look like. I'm not sure what... Well, Brazil would have been the paper minis that were representations of, like, painted versions of these. Uh, that. They use a lot of that green, anyway, in the uh, uh, Euroscape campaign, right? Yes, for, yeah, you're right. For, you're some, right. Ah, for so from some faction. They probably had big stocks of that that blows plastics. I mean, it's Hasbro. They've got probably every kind of plastic you can think of for toys. But yeah, they may have had some on hand and thought, hey, it's a forest. Stuff is green. Makes sense. Green and yellow. Of course, it can also be like a sickly kind of color. Like, it's been tainted. It's been uh, poisoned. It's or ghostly, you know, with the grave. You know, mossy. It suggests many different things in that realm of like undead or magical or wild or just blending in with the foliage and things. Of course, you could paint this any way you wanted to. I could see you painting it like a crab or like a spider or like the predator. You could put all kinds of patterns and uh, texture, simulated texture on the spider. A lot of real spiders you could use as references and fantasy spiders. Spiders in uh, Lord of the Rings. Shelob. Alright, let's check the Discord again. Ah, Sir Goot. Uh, Glut Geschmeidetes Diadem. Okay. Apologies to our German fans. Dieses Relic Verbert mit einer Kaum zu Bande 
Gendenkraft. <laughs> okay, we've already seen this in English, so I'm not sure why I'm trying to pronounce the German. <laughs> I'm working on a, a translation of um, StarQuest from German to English, and it's coming along pretty well. But if you ask me to read German, I'm going to sound like a fool, so I'm sorry. But confirmation right here, there's a German version. So German, Spanish, English. I presume Italian, <laughs> I mean French, <laughs> I think we're on a roll. Okay. Anything else we're missing? Quite a lively discussion in the spoilers channel, says Ribby, correct. Ribby, you got any comments uh, on what we've been seeing so far? Anything else we need to cover? <laughs> Grimlock King. <laughs> Always at work, yes. Okay. I think the only thing that hasn't been seen yet is the back of the skill cards for the new characters and stuff. No, I, we have seen those. We just haven't seen the back of the hero card for the Berserker. And like you were saying, Bohemius, we haven't seen the, the Goblin Warlock or Goblin Sorcerer or whatever that character is. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Squidge Monster. I'm going to head off. It was great to listen in. I have some work to do to add this into the builder. Yes, in the future, it seems. We get caught up on the recent expansions, too. Yeah, for once, uh, this expansion will definitely require some additions because you've got lots of tiles, new monsters, new icons to add to. Yeah, check out hquestbuilder.com. It's a web-based... I mean, I, I still prefer Hero Scribe. I still use Hero Scribe which is still around, heroscribe.org, but it hasn't been updated in maybe like 15 years. So if you want a newer version of a way to make a quest and print it out, go to his website. Was there a comment there that I missed? Yeah, we don't know that that bear ally, whatever it is. So there's definitely a few things we haven't seen yet. Well, I suppose in the next few days we may have more images come out as people who were at the convention come home and they post things that they have or maybe new images appear on some of these retail websites that are pre-ordering. Or we might have to wait till Gen Con. I'm sure there's some other conventions between now and Gen Con though, in other areas. I mean, there's two months. So Sikashem says it's called Talisman Alliances. And according to leaks, the box size is an entirely different, larger box size than previous corner board expansions. So with the title and box size, it could be something entirely new. Yeah, I don't know much about Talisman other than what people have posted here. <laughs> Joe says in French it's called Quest, Like heavy metal. Okay, folks. Well, I, I kind of want to end our discussion now, but and do some other things before the stream at two, but I'm thinking like as soon as I end it, someone's gonna post something up. <laughs> really amazing, and we're gonna miss it. But I suppose you can't win them all. You can't do everything. Well, I guess uh, from the look of it, I mean, it, it looks, looks like we've got an interesting variety of miniatures, tiles, cards. There's some things to know about these new heroes i agree with what doug was saying doug hopkins that these are not meant to replace the barbarian and the dwarf but they could certainly complement them um they're definitely a little more different than i thought it's not just those two previous heroes with spells bolted on which is kind of what i was concerned about I know when the, the Guardian Knight first came out, there were people saying, well, 
this guy is just replacing the Barbarian and the Dwarf. Why would I ever use anything else? But it looks like they're different enough that they could they could be a choice or they could be left out entirely. I mean, the pattern thus far with these expansions has been they give you the new hero and how you use or don't use that character is up to you. They wouldn't have to be a hero. They could be an NPC. They could be a mercenary. They could be an enemy. Ah. Welcome. We've got... Okay, I know your name. It's just that I'm in streamer mode, so it's, you're just one letter. Do my Montalto. Hey, welcome back. Haven't seen you in a little while. We're just kind of coming to the end of our Jungles of Delthrak discussion, but if you had some thoughts or questions, fire away. Yeah, to be honest, I barely saw it, so I'm still like trying to figure it out. Okay. Well, I think our, if you want my take on it, uh, the general, my general overview is that the the leaks, the stuff that we heard about the expansion from before is pretty much all true except obviously the cover was only suggesting things uh, we don't see any new dice in here and the only translucent figures are the giant crystal and this flame and they're both like in clear yellow plastic the spider is in the form of tiles which are like i guess they're like dungeon vermin basically <laughs> Uh, but there's also a giant spider that takes up two squares. It's green. And we've got the ape is a two-square monster. These, uh, oh, I already lost the name. But these basically like swamp men. We've got three of them. They're the same color as the skeletal archers. So the skeletal archers are repeated from uh, against the Ogre Horde. We also have the ranged goblins repeated from against the Ogre Horde. We've got the cultists repeated from Rise of the Dread Moon, but it looks like they have a different spell. They've got Channel Dread and they've got some other spell. And they might have tweaked stats as well. We've got the two heroes, which are quite different from the Barbarian and the Dwarf, even though they are... I guess of that same type it's like another type of barbarian another type of dwarf the dwarf seems to be focused on finding treasure and dodging traps the barbarian type the berserker seems focused on specialized attacks kind of like the combat cards but they each only have three we've got our animal allies we've got a dinosaur and we've got this little like bear creature yeah, about that, did they show the cards for those animal ally? Well, they've shown some of them. We don't know the bear creature. We haven't seen anything for that. We also haven't seen the back of the Berserker hero card to see what else they can do. So there are a few unknowns. We've seen there's alchemy cards in here. Okay, so these are called spawnlings, the little tile creatures. Uh, Skull Blight is the... Moss Man or whatever, We've got the giant ape. Let's see. Yeah, so for your benefit, um, let me see. I've gone through so many of these, I'm kind of lost in it. The new tiles. Yeah, regarding the animal allies. Okay, so Blight Crawlers, the spider. Yeah, I'm guessing the, the raptor... So, in against the Ogre Horde, the wolf had a card, and it's like the the ally wolf had the stats. So, I'm, I'm assuming that the raptor stats that we see for the monster version are the same as the like hero version, the ally version. So, at least for that, we can say the raptor is 8 movement, 2 attack... Two defend, three body, three mind, and it can move, attack, and move. Seems like that the other card for the animal ally is under the raptor. Yeah, you can see the paw. Yeah. 
movement it looks like 10 it might be 10 movement or i doubt yeah, it's one yeah that looks like the one yeah hit 100 movement no. <laughs> yeah but the the fact that raptor can open doors i think people appreciate jurassic park fans appreciate that <laughs> I was surprised by the color green that be so vibrant. Yeah, Bohemius is a big fan. So yeah, you've got uh, several. So they're bending the conventions that we've seen before. So we got a green spider, green dinosaurs, green serpent, green cultists. Well, they're called something different this time. They're not called cultists. Blight wardens. I think is what they're called and the blight crawler is the spider the skull blight is the mo moss man or vine man or <laughs> swamp monster swamp thing so if we look at the the cultists so they move seven squares they attack with two dice do they also defend with two dice I forget if we got another view. You can see on that previous image that the raptor has a different attack dice. Okay, sorry, I went too fast. Three attack dice here. Oh, you mean there's a, a variant? Sorry, help me out here. The ally companion only has two. This is Berg, by the way. Hey, Berg. Yeah, thanks for all your postings. Yeah, I might. Not, this might be the first time I've heard your voice, unless you chimed in another time. No, it's probably the first time. Ah, Berg, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Berg. Yep. There he is. Okay, well, I've got too many tabs. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying now. And there's so, so you didn't notice that there's not an asterisk on the monster card? Ah, okay. So it doesn't look like it has that ability to move, attack, move. So the, the good guy version is a little more versatile, is what we're thinking. Yeah, I'm assuming that's probably just to keep it keep it in balance with a lower lower attack, and then that lets it go in and out of combat. Whereas a raptor as a monster is more likely going to be sit and attack nonstop, okay. where actually it would be more deadly to the heroes in in that scenario to be able to just attack, move, attack, move. Especially with three attack die. You could alternate yeah. raptors coming in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there are multiple monster raptors. So, yeah. So there you go. So it's different than uh, having uh, like a, uh, a good guy ogre and a bad guy ogre that have the same basic stats. Alright. Any, any other insights? You want to share? Feel free. I suppose we'll be picking this apart for weeks to come. Y'all take a look and see whether the mini matches up the the old um, screenshots that we were seeing. I hadn't looked that far. Oh, yes. I love that. That, that whole... Uh, conspiracy discussion was great yeah I'm not I mean I'm not gonna do it live here do it live let's see probably if I search for the picture I'm not gonna find the old one I mean I could pull up the uh, images you guys had I suppose from the discord Let's see, was it in uh, Rumor Mill? I think it was in the Rumor Mill. See, now that we're in speculation territory, I don't mind if people <laughs> start to tune out. 
because this could just go on and on and on. It's not this anymore. It's big of an issue. Yeah. Touch the so it looks like it's an in inverse. So the arm was an inverse picture of the female. Not, no, the female. Uh, I think he's saying that they're actually over the male. They probably are. You, you see, they are the two dwarf are inverse Here miniatures. There we go, Berg. Here's here it is. Are you guys seeing this? Nope, you're not seeing it. Okay, not this one. All right, let's get Discord back. Here, I've linked two in the Discord chat here with the original arm where I photoshopped it and cut yeah. it out. And then you can see on the female. So here in the original one, it looked like it was the left arm, and, and on the screenshot, yeah, the, ma the right male arm. dwarf. Look at the male dwarf. No, no, no. Look at the female dwarf. It's actually inverse of that because the male dwarf line yeah, is a different but spot. Yeah, but not on the art. I'm talking about the miniature. If you look at the miniature, yeah, of the dwarf, the uh, the official one. And the side uh, is the barbarian, well, sorry, the, the berserker female. Okay, it's gonna. You, be you cool. should do a side by side with the uh, with your actual miniatures. Uh, you. I shouldn't have done this. You can, yeah. Tabs, it's too many tabs. The bracer is exactly the same. The straps. Come on, we're it is, but, but the model <laughs> actually matches um, at I that angle. So. Matches the female dwarf. <laughs> Okay, that, that's the point. I don't remember the uh, the miniature. I should see it uh, side by side. That's that's why I'm not guessing right now. Sorry, guys, I'm making you dizzy here as I'm looking for it. There was that CGI <laughs> image of the of the red figures side by side, and I was thinking, oh, we should look at that. I can't find look one. Look in look in the group chat here in Discord. Oh, here we are. I, I've linked some images. Thank you. Okay, so this was the this was the old one. Well, they don't match perfectly, but close enough to say that that one probably were like mock up, uh, a, a very early stage of the uh, of the, the the real sculpt. But they, they are the same. You see, they're just missing some little details. No, I think those little details like, are on the like original the, um, one. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Are on the side of the female dwarf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the female arm. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really good match. It's just flipped. Mm -hmm. Yes, flipped. Yep, I agree with you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, thanks there to my Montalto. You take care. Thanks for stopping by, Glasgow. Thanks for the reveal, Kurgan. I'm off to the dentist now to fix my British teeth. You see, and with the side by side is more clear. I, uh, there is a flip the for image. the record, I did not say it. He said it. He said he had British teeth. <laughs> I thought he was from Scotland. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll unpack that later. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, very, you're right. It's the flipped image of the dwarf female. Yeah. Well, you could flip it. Yeah, and then the the one on the the right side of the box was actually the male barber or the male berserker, as you can tell from the crosses on the boots, the, the cross cloth. I can drop yeah. that in chat as well. Yeah, if you if you would. Yeah, but another big detail that you want is the filigree. Dinosaur killer. The filigree yeah. in the side of the, the box is the same. Yes. Yeah. I From the fake box. Had seen that before. In the fake box, they had a specific filigree uh, mm -hmm. under the logo of uh, HeroQuest. Yeah. The magic. Sorry, you'll have to click these links for it to actually see. It zooms in for whatever reason. I think just because of my. Yeah. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It does. Yeah. So, so the original image, the original image, um, had those, yeah, those edge pieces. People are like, what the, what the heck are you even talking about? So we're talking about the fact that at one time we had this image from Pixie Games, which showed uh, a stock image, an Adobe uh, image of like a temple in a jungle. And then there were just like on the edge of the box, you had these gray pieces, just CGI images that look like pieces of miniatures just kind of intruding into the space. And it was like, what the heck is this? So Here, there's that, that image for you. Here. Yeah, but they clearly delete the uh, the X from that image. So, <laughs> Well, I think you're just seeing the bottom of his bracer. Yes, you see that, but you can't see the um, the X. It should be in frame yeah. anyway. Yeah, you should you should be able to see the top of the axe at the very top of the the image. Yeah, but they they just cancel it. Okay, so you're saying this little part here, the cloth. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Boom. And this kind of like almost samurai looking armor coming down. Yeah, and then you can see. I, what I didn't include in that image that I photoshopped there was the base of the axe. So if you click in the next image I linked in with the original mm -hmm. um, art that they shared shared on Pixie yeah. Games. Yep, the fake box. There we go. I was trying to mm -hmm. find... I had filed those pictures away long ago. So Yeah, yeah and if, you, if you go up to the top, you can actually see the, the barbarian's axe right at the very top. And my axe. Oh, whoops. Just a little sliver of it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, my theory is is it was in Carmine's, in Carmine's last Easter egg for us. Thank you, sir. And the filigree that he talked about. Yeah, we uh, we definitely appreciated the, the chase, the Easter egg hunt, the treasure, search for the treasure. In trying to figure out more details, and how could we, how could we ever well, know from these clues? But it was fun to guess. It was fun to try to figure it out. I, I spent way too many hours on the internet searching to see whether these minis existed somewhere else. And <laughs> yeah, like if it was an elaborate I, fake, like these I were from Kickstarter or something. <laughs> Reaper. Well, and and we appreciate you guys uh, taking that time because it makes good conversation fodder, and you can say, "Hey, I was right," or "I was close." <laughs> Yeah, I my speculations for this have not been very good. My my track record for guessing is pretty poor on these. Um, but I guess when it comes to the gameplay, we'll see. I suppose so much of it, like Rise of the Dread Moon, seems based in like if they had done a survey of fan Hero Quest mods out there, common ideas. And they kind of tweaked them a little bit and kind of incorporated them in. So you could look through fan sites and try to guess what each of these might be. But it might end up being something else entirely. <laughs> so until we get to play it, it's it's hard to say. So I suppose these uh, these folks at UK Gaming Expo, if they, um, if they actually get to play it, then we'll learn that stuff soon. If they don't get a demo or anything and they just got to... Just look at the physical components. Not so much. We might have to wait. Yeah, it appeared that they, they had hands-on because they, literally they were taking photos at a table with a mm -hmm. setup. Yeah, and she was flipping with... pages in the mm -hmm. quest book a little bit. I mean, people don't want to see the spoilers of the quest, but I want to see the early pages that describe, okay, what do the tiles actually do? You know what? Yeah, the first the ten to twenty is, pages. Yeah, exactly. Is and it, last extremely few, revealing. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the last few pages usually get a summary of the monsters and maybe some of the artifacts and things. Of course, if you've already seen the cards, no big deal. I'd like to get a card count too. <laughs> well, didn't we have that on the back of the box? 
We we do, but I'm just curious if we've we've seen oh like check everything them among among them. Yeah, like how many Process of red spells are there? Are there are there just two? So 39 cardboard pieces, 36 game cards. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that we'd do on Yield In. We'd be like, okay, what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, Like you're at 40. Well, I always assume that the stuff on the back of the box is accurate, but it's, it's also hard to hard to guess since this is likely all digital. Um, well, this is not digital. This is a guy holding the box or a gal. Right, but the the image on the back of the box is what I, what I was referring to. Oh. So when you're you're counting the cards, <laughs> yeah. So like, it's an infinite regress. It's a it's a it's a photo of somebody holding a box with CGI <laughs> images on it. Right. <laughs> you're so pedantic, and I love it. We need yes. that. <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is that it's possible that the cards flipped over the show, showing the top card. The may deck. not be a, a card of the actual have... deck. Well, in or some, it could be. In some cases, I think it is because we know there's three skills. So, mm -hmm. top card, bottom two. And it looks like here we've got two dread spells. So the the channel dread and the what was the other one? Yeah, I'm already forgetting. We've seen it, but it it didn't really. We've seen three spells in other photo, I believe. Yeah, so maybe the, the three spell thing is inaccurate. No, two here. Creeping There's grasp. Four. Creeping grasp. Yeah, unless. I would. There's more. So to comment on, on Berg's comment, I would mistrust. I would distrust the CGI images, except the CGI images on the back of the box. I would think those would be the most likely to be accurate in terms of card counts. I can see the uh, the goblin card, for example, probably is part of the quest and describe it. Oh, that's a good point. The quest, the yeah, where's the where's the goblin alchemist or the goblin sorcerer, goblin warlock? Yeah, uh, yeah. it looks it really gives me the vibes wizard. of an, M <laughs> an NPC completely. So it doesn't have like stats. Yeah, uh, or a card to be a it's monster. The new See, Cash and confirmed the, the goblin being a warlock. Awesome. Um, cool. As that came through the Hasbro Pulse email. Ah, uh, okay. That helps. I was just going to say, where did he get that from? <laughs> but Yeah, I asked the same thing and then looked at my email. And uh, let's check my email. Like, there it was right at the top. All, the answers were there all the time. Okay, so I'm reading your comment here, Berg. I see from that Amazon image that the hazard giant centipede in the treasure deck has a reference to using a spawnling. Looks like place centipede spawnling tile on your character card. Immediately lose your turn, which is odd as there's a good chance you already used your movement before searching. Well... Are you thinking it's like end your turn or like lose your next turn? I think it just says you just immediately lose your current turn. Oh. So you can move after search you. Yeah, you can. So, but it's more likely that you might have it's, moved and then searched. It's a bit like well, the Caltrop. Yes. The Caltrop doesn't really hinder you very much in actual Not practice. much. So it could be like yeah. that or it could be... I mean, we have seen occasionally, I mean, Doug Hopkins... I blame him because he's the rules guy, but sometimes they write something and then later they explain, no, no, we meant this other thing, even though it says well, that. We need to see how, how threatening 
are the spawnlings. <laughs> Maybe are vicious. <laughs> Who knows? Got what? zero attack, so probably they got like a poison attack or some kind. Who knows? Well, and they could have different uses based on the quest as well, despite what we see on the card. Mm-hmm. Uh, ingredients <laughs> yeah yeah it's like a, in this quest they do this and this other quest they do something else that's always a possibility and that that always i mean it's nice that they have these generic rules uh you know it's kind of like my comments with the cultists and the magus guards and rise of the dread moon it's like why did you bother giving them spells when you could just do it in the quest notes someone else would say well that frees you up to put other things in the quest notes with that space you know so i yeah there's you you can look at it both ways like is it is it good for variety or is it better to just leave it generic you can still expand upon what they've given us here very easily cool stuff guys well i guess uh any closing thoughts on jungles of deltrak reveal Anybody canceling their pre-order? <laughs> I really, I really like all the what, all the miniature. My favorite is the uh, uh, skull bite thingy. <laughs> uh, I really looking forward to to have this uh, expansion and uh, read uh, all the secrets. <laughs> yeah. And well, I really hope they continue with the. Uh, treasure hunt uh with the easter eggs yeah i mean i enjoy it part of me would say you know thanks for the memories and carmine it was great it was awesome um but i'd like just them to just be 100 percent transparent just say boom here here's all the information on the other hand <laughs> part of me also thought Maybe it wasn't a a conscious choice in the sense that like they weren't allowed to release information, but they were allowed to kind of hint at things like maybe he was choosing the middle path. Maybe they couldn't just give a full reveal of details as they came out, Um, but they were allowed to just kind of like play this little game with us where they release little bits or maybe it was calculated from the beginning. They, They had it all worked out and it was just, well, here, we'll show you this little image. We'll kind of give you this little description. We'll play uh, 20 questions <laughs> and then show you, you know, get get you into, into the spirit of it by having, you know, the fans thinking about the product, speculating about the product, and that generates buzz and hype. Even though people will say, you know, the doomsayers will say, well, that, if they do this, that would ruin the game. Or if they do this, that would be really dumb and stupid, and I hope they don't do this. But if they do this other thing, that would be great. And then you find out what it really is at the end. So maybe they're not 100% transparent. Maybe they're 50% translucent. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Now, um, I, I suppose I'm going to risk uh, alienating even more people if I say this, but uh, so we got the British teeth, but what about Scottish teeth? Scottish teeth are a different story, right? Oh, beautiful, straight as a die. <laughs> Pearly whites, excellent. All right, so <laughs> there's definitely folks that have bad teeth in the U.S. as well. So just uh, just to be fair, just to, just to put that out there. <laughs> As far as stereotypes go, yeah, I, I've I've seen the hells have eyes. <laughs> it was a historical documents. <laughs> yeah, and and I shouldn't say it's uh, it's just in the hills either. I mean, you can go into the cities, you can find all kinds of people, all kinds of all kinds of folks. <laughs> yep. All right. Well. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. So we've been recording this. I'll be posting this on YouTube right when we get done. Um, Maybe just a couple minor edits. But it was fun. It was fun uh, watching this and speculating. So once I hit stop, then there'll probably be a few more things popping up. 
I'll be out Saturday, so no live stream Saturday, which means, again, whenever I'm gone, things happen. So we'll probably figure out some more things by then, and I'll have something to look forward to when I get back. But appreciate you guys stopping by, sharing your comments. Thanks for posting and cross-posting the information. And I'm sure all of our friends on YouTube will be covering this. So Dungeon Master, Cristobal, LaGuardia de Morcar, Always Bored, Never Boring. We've already seen some things. Ash Quest. Uh, Sir Death, Lee at Covert Nerd. When are you going? When's your next show, buddy? <laughs> Elviler.com. Uh, so many others. Um, I'm forgetting. There's a whole list. There's a whole list of people that I check fairly regularly for Hero Quest stuff. And even if it's months later, it's like I still want to see. You know, what did Lions Review have to say? You know, what did this other person have to say about it? So cool stuff. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll look forward to it. I don't know if any of you co are coming in a few hours for our Mage of the Mirror stream. We're still going to be doing that 2 to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on twitch.tv slash fans. But we'd we'll be happy to have you. All right. Take care, everybody. Yeah. Thanks.